But while we were easing along the road, we came up on a young boar eating grass. It had no idea we were there because it was so busy eating grass. Maybe why they call them pigs. So Ray eases the rifle up, and I'm as excited as he is. I'm watching as he slowly lifts the gun up, puts it right on the crease of the shoulder in this hog, and when he touches off the trigger on that bulldog, you could literally just hear the bullet whop and blow completely through that hog. The pig jumped, took off in the brush, and we were pumped. That looked like a pretty, pretty good little young boar. I put it right behind his front shoulder and popped him, so we'll see what this thing does. Nice shot, right? That was awesome. I can't believe he was in the slough like that. <laughs> we knew it was a great shot, walked up to where he had shot it, and found blood instantly. We followed a really short blood trail into the brush, and there was Wright's first hog with the brand new Benjamin Bulldog. I think he turned and went in his stick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot on that pig. That is awesome. Nice shot, Wright. Nice shot, man. No far at all. All right, if you can see right here, uh, this is the entrance side. It's not the biggest pig in the swamp, but it definitely blew right straight through him. We had a great blood trail. Uh, he went maybe 50 yards and fell dead right there. Flip him around, let me see that pass through. Right. Cause that's about a what? Six? Probably about a 60. Maybe a little bigger. Yeah. yeah. It's a little heavier than you think. But. He's thick. And look at where the exit wound yep. came completely out of that pig. Yep. Good double lung, it didn't go far at all. Nice job, what do you think? That's the first thing you've shot with a new one. Yep, I think it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Wright's 357 bullet had gone completely through this hog. That's one of the reasons the pig went down so quickly, and one of the reasons we were super impressed with the new Benjamin Bulldog. Well, here's the two uh, wild hogs that me and Wright just shot here in Georgia. Nice shot. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Had a blast. I and mean, you know what's kind of neat is we totally chose to shoot two totally different ways. Yep. Because of the way my pig was angled, you know, it kind of started getting nervous. It got pretty close in there and kind of looked. And I thought, even though I could probably blow through the shoulder, I'm going to take it in the head. And it just dropped. It did. It and did. you had a good broadside shot. Yeah, I did. A little bit further shot. Um, yeah, yours was almost 47, 50 yards. Yeah, I was a little bit uncomfortable with the head shot from that distance. Plus, we, we, already, we know what a head shot will do. <laughs> so we wanted to see what a double lung would do or we'd get a pass through. And it blew right through this one. And uh, he had a little short run about maybe 50 yards and piled up right there. So uh, I think the gun done real well. I like the bull pup design. It went with a synthetic stock, which makes it a little lighter on the bulldog. Um, 35 caliber, I mean, it's 357 and 145 grain bullet is what we're shooting out of it. And uh, pretty dang impressive performance. First two hogs um, that we each shot, both dropped. And uh, yours was like, say, almost 50 yards. Mine was only 12, I think it was. <laughs> was it nine or 12? I forgot I think it was now. 12. 12 we'll, we'll call it 12. We'll call <laughs> 12 yards, and it dropped like a stone. So, kind of cool. We're gonna do a little. Uh, we're gonna do a little autopsy later. Kind of show you what what the uh, what the air rifle went through. But these are not. I mean, I tell people these are hunting rifles. I mean, yeah. they're they're serious. That's true. Yeah, they're they're not a toy. Well, fun is always on the menu when me and Wright are together, and we throw out a few challenges. Well, Wright pulled up with his off-road vehicle to this big creek, and he said to me, ah, we should probably go around. It's probably pretty deep. And I went, I can't believe you are not going to try it. Well, after I said that, you can bet that Wright was going to dive in there. Well, against my better judgment, we're going to try to cross this creek. We pulled up to it, looked at it. I assessed the situation. I told Fred, I think we better go around the other way and he basically told me I was a sissy if I didn't try to go across the creek. So, <laughs> not one to back down from a challenge, we fixed to try to cross the creek. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> he says creek, see Colorado, that'd be a river. We're about to roll this thing, aren't we? Holy smokes, I'm gonna try and keep the camera up. Well, I started questioning whether I should have teased him or not as the water started coming up over her feet. I will give him credit, he made it through, but you gotta watch when you challenge a guy in Georgia because odds are he's gonna take you up on it. <laughs> what is bad 
as I thought. <laughs> yeah, we, just had, we just had to put a water in it, otherwise it was good. We needed to wash some of the mud off anyway. <laughs> Well, this is the first pig that I shot this morning, and you can see that 357 round took him right between the eyes, a little bit right of center, but he was quartering just a little bit to me. That's where I had to shoot him. Went completely through his skull, through the back of his skull, and ended up in his body, and dropped this pig instantly. The next one we shot, right shot, went completely through his chest. Pretty impressive test for the bulldog. Now, if I put this pig turn them back together getting ready to skin him out you can see he's a little wider than eight inches wide that's how deep his chest is and uh, that shot that Wright put on him totally went through a rib here like totally broke that rib went through both lungs and cracked that rib took about half of that rib off before exiting the other side that's pretty impressive now we're going to go ahead and skin him out because they have some great meat on these little guys.